starting today there was a new patch for CSGO and that patch introduced a few things I want to talk about. One of them is obviously the Horizon patch. It added the Horizon loot box or as the gamers of CSGO call the crate which has as you can see all of these different special knives all impressive or oh, brand new switchblade and stupid shit like that and um they've introduced where it's kind of like a pubg screen and everything's just boring flat tiles they took out the style of the game it can be sometimes hard to navigate these sort of settings um as well now that they've completely changed it, i'm looking at a bland boring terrorist for some reason i can't actually customize it anyway even though at least with pubg that you know you can customize him one of the things is they added loot boxes to this now of course in the problem is like this this is as of recording they only just today released this but recently um with the dutch and netherlands they were saying that loot boxes were outright illegal in csgo and that they had to confine with the law within uh, i think it was like two weeks i could be wrong i should have it on the screen now if i've done editing right and um they said where well, they said that it was like a threat and um they outright lied about how they had no time because they waited till the last minute um you know lying to us kind of like forza did recently by saying there'd be no microtransactions into it which was a flat out lie and they added it into forza and with them they they didn't outright take out the loot boxes they just changed it so it would comply with the law which was enough for the government um to dissuade them for now so they've got a steal in there for the Dutch, they've really dodged a bullet. But it just blows my mind that not only did they go back on what they claim is a, a threat, the legal action that they have to comply with, just complying with the law to me isn't a threat, but you know. Um, and then they just blatantly just decide, oh, let's just keep putting in loot boxes because this is a convenience to the players, as I fucking stated before, like, fuck off. <laughs> Like we don't want loot boxes no one wants loot boxes no one flat out wants it except for maybe those scammers with the trading system which Val doesn't seem to want considering they've cracked down on them in the past um some people theorize that they do because they get the money out of that shit but you know they, they definitely still want trading because they get money in that but you know couple of other changes is obvious for the UI. This one's pretty fucking great. But um <clears throat> you know you can also see a couple of things like the text in the bottom right has shrunk. Um you can kind of view guns before you buy them now. Oh I know you could do that but yeah I just really hate the um the new update. You can't really change back to the old ui so if you don't like it tough shit if you do well uh, like more power to you but you know if you don't you, you just kind of fuck and of course they haven't changed the spectating problem where like you can view both sides of teams i don't know if that's only with casual honestly because i don't play rank in my 30 hours of playing i just i've heard enough bad about it and already suck enough at um casual play i'm just not gonna play ranked thinking that it was bad enough that um they decided to get bloody one time uh 50 time use sprays but you had to actually keep purchasing or you know the fact that you have to pay for keys but you know adding more loot boxes just seems like god very greedy i mean valve is one of those people that have really cornered the market they can just monopolize the whole um, PC gaming because they get 30% of everything that's sold on Steam. So it, it just seems pointless for them to really um, get this greedy, get the hands dirty with this shit. Now, if I've done my editing correctly, then you should be displayed on screen now. But they actually did have two weeks' time. Like if I looked up the um, an article, it was like two weeks, it could be around like four weeks or something like that. Yeah, I think it was eight weeks actually. They had a long time. I mean, most people when they um they they support loot box, they usually say 
that you know loot boxes are on its phone because they're just paying for the servers or whatever they don't they, they're low on money they need this and it's like well valve is one of the biggest ones they don't even need to make games they haven't for ages like we all know to earn a living so valve is one of the companies that can't really run on that little excuse I mean even if they did just pretending that they actually do do that you could always just copy Fortnite which people are speculating that they will where they just do the battle pass or something like the battle pass some people hate the idea of that but I don't think it's too bad it's a lot better than bloody loot boxes I I certainly think that. So if you've played uh, GTA 5 online, then you've probably heard about the Bumbushka before um, recently. It was a new vehicle that was introduced with the um, Fly, it was a Smuggler's Run DLC, or update, because it's not really a DLC, and it added this vehicle, this aircraft. Um, it was one of the most expensive, to my memory, if I'm correct, it was the most expensive at just under six mil, um, if you wanted a straight up, which you charge for every time it blows up and only takes one missile, it's also extremely slow. So by the fans, by everyone, they consider this thing the most useless fucking piece of shit aircraft ever as a fucking meme. And to remind you, this is um the prices that you can buy quote shark cars, which is just like to get GTA online money for real world currency, and the closest one to six mil that you can get is eight mil as you can see so it's the only real one that you can pay for which is a hundred dollars usd which in my currency australian dollar that's a hell of a lot more than a hundred dollars just for a useless fucking piece of shit aircraft which you'll build for just playing and using but if someone decides to blow you up or you crash it you're charged for using it again on top of that price so that to me is less greedy somehow then the this new update for CSGO, this new loot boxes take two doesn't seem as greedy as Valve for me. That's how bad this is. That the Bumbushka is better than this. Unbelievable.